Hello everyone! I'm so glad you could join us today. And I just want to welcome you to Edible Bible Lessons with me, Mr. Sunny. I'm so excited because we're going to have so much fun cooking together. I'm also really excited because we're going to have some awesome guests on the show from around the world. Some are internationally acclaimed chefs and others are wonderful, beautiful families that are going to help us make different recipes for success that will help us live life the way Jesus wants us to live. And today is episode one. And to start things off, let's meet our first chef. And I'm gonna hand things over to my good friend who everyone knows as Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, take it away. Hello kids, and welcome to Super Chef America. The show where we show you how to be a super chef. Today on Super Chef America, we have a special treat for you. We are gonna learn how to make squid ink ice cream, yeah! With Super Chef Japan, Chef Morimoto. Well, it seems Super Chef Japan will not be able to make it today. His play was delayed. So here, instead of Super Chef Japan, it's Super Chef School Cafeteria? Chef Mars, yay! Hello, Mr. Karen. Hello, Chef Mars. You are a chef in America? Yes, Mr. Karen. All of our Super Chefs have their own specialty. Super Chef Japan, Super Chef China, Super Chef France, and Super Chef Italy. Now, what is your specialty? I'm Super Chef School Cafeteria. School Cafeteria? That's right, Mr. Chairman. There's no mystery meat or Sloppy Joe recipe I don't know. Mmm, Sloppy Joe sounds tasty. Uh, are you making Sloppy Joe today? <laughs> Fruit pizza? Wow! Sounds tasty! But not as tasty as Sloppy Joe's! Actually, fruit pizza is very simple. All you need is crust and pizza toppings. Wait, that's it? That's it. No cheese? <laughs> no cheese. No pizza sauce? No pizza sauce! No anchovies? Gross. No. First, of course, but you what? You can put strawberry, pineapple, peaches, banana, tomato, any fruit you want. Wow, that that sounds so tasty! All those fruits, all those pizzas. It's actually very amazing how many fruits you can put on the crusts. I got inspired by the fruit of the spirit. Paul wrote them in the Galatians. He says that as Christians, we need to live by the fruit of the Spirit every day. Wait, so what are the fruits of the Spirit? Well, there's love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Sounds like a recipe for a happy life. These fruit pizzas remind me that I need the fruit of the Spirit every day. And just like these fruit pizzas, the fruit of the spirits are pretty tasty. Sounds like a winning recipe to me. Okay, Chef Mars, I'm ready to make these fruit pizzas. Let's go. Whoa, what do we do first? Uh, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. No, we're not making them. <laughs> what, what do you mean? This is a show. This is why we invited you. You have to show no, my friends are going to help. What friends? The Myers family. Myers family? Who are they? Let's go to them right now. Wait, wait, wait. That's my line. I am the host. To it. Oh, show the clip. Hello. We are going to be using the following ingredients. These are grapes, strawberries, raspberries, kiwi, oranges, blueberries. Next, we 
We are going to also be using sugar, cookie dough, cream cheese, vanilla extract, almond extract, powdered sugar, and butter. Okay, so you start by turning on the oven to 350 degrees. And then you take your sugar cookie dough mix and you basically press it out onto a round pizza or cookie dough pan. So that's what we're going to do now. So after you flattened out your cookie dough as best as possible, you put it in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes until it's done. And while it's baking, you want to mix your um, frosting. So we're going to put the cream cheese in and the powdered sugar in. And now it must cool completely before we can put the frosting on. And now we, since our cookie dough has been fully cooled, we are going to be spreading our cream cheese mixture. Now that our cookie dough is done, where the is just the fun part because we get to put the um, food on whichever way you want. You can do shrimps, you can do circles, you can do whatever way. So our verse is Galatians 5 verse 22 through 26. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking, and envying each other. The end. Wow! I don't know about you, but I'm craving some fruit pizzas right now. Okay, guys, so listen. We chose to make fruit pizza as a reminder of the fruit of the Spirit. The fruits of the Spirit are God's recipe for living a life that glorifies God. When people see the fruits of the Spirit in our lives, they see that we are different. They don't see selfishness or bitterness, but love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. The fruits of the Spirit will make us a witness to others. They will also give us more joy and more happiness in our own lives. So let's ask God to show us how we can add these fruits to our lives every day. God has a recipe for our lives. He wants us to live by the fruits of the Spirit so other people will know by our actions that we love Jesus. And now we reach the end of episode one. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for episode two next Wednesday. And we're going to close it with prayer by my good friend, Charlie. Dear God, teach us to live by the fruit of the Spirit so people will see Jesus in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay, now we're going to eat it. Yum. It's so good. And we can really taste the fruit, which is all about the 
Bible verse. 